So I have another cool feature of Final Cut Pro to show you guys, and that is how to record voiceovers directly in Final Cut Pro. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. So having this option to do the voiceover directly in your editing software makes it so much easier and streamlined. Instead of having to do it in another program like GarageBand or something similar, exporting the file, uploading it into your then editor and trying to mess things around a little bit, you can actually watch your footage as you're doing the voiceover to make it super easy to line everything up. And like I've learned before, you can use it to fix any mistakes if you call a product the wrong name. So I'll show you a couple different ways to use this voiceover option, but let's go ahead and jump into Final Cut Pro. All right, so I do have a project pulled up here. This has actually been fully edited. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop the volume down just to show you guys an example of this and then what I was able to do in the finished product. But say you have this B roll or whatever you have your A roll and you wanna do a voiceover and then maybe add some music in later. But first we're gonna focus on the voiceover. So in order to get to that option, it's very difficult, so make sure you pay close attention. All right, so we're gonna go up to the very top toolbar that says window. We're gonna hit that and go all the way down to record voiceover. And that's it. Super difficult, right? So pretty easy to actually get to and everything. And then it pops up this screen here where it's going to show your voiceover and it does automatically or should automatically notice if you have an audio interface or microphone hooked up, it automatically selected the Rodecaster Pro 2, which I am using. So just make sure that if you do have an external mic, you do have that selected as an input. So that way you're not accidentally using the microphone from your laptop, which might not sound as good. There's a couple of different options here. I do like this countdown to record. It'll start three seconds before to kind of give you, you know, some time to jump in and then you can meet your project if you want to and some other things that I typically don't mess with. I just leave it like this and then well, you just record your voiceover. Make sure your mic settings the way you want it on your audio interface or your program, however you want. You wanna find the area in your footage where you wanna actually start the voiceover. So say we wanna start it like right here is where I wanna start the talking part. Once we hit record, it's going to go three seconds before that, and you'll see it kind of count down. And then as soon as it gets to this mark right here, that's where it's going to start your voiceover. Don't worry if you start a little late. You can always move your audio footage over to where it needs to start. So let's just go ahead and do a quick sample of how this actually works. I'm going to go ahead and hit record, and you'll see the three-second timer going down. And to finish up putting on these mufflers, we are tightening the bolts on the front and back. And then you want to make sure you use a torque wrench to the specified specifications in the book. Well, I don't know what we had there, but I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. And I can ignore this error just because I have a lot going on uh, computer wise. It wasn't able to keep up with the frames. But if you're not running Ecamm Live in your computer along with your editing software, it shouldn't pop up. But you'll see down here it added another audio file. And we'll go ahead and play that back. And to finish up putting on these mufflers, we are tightening the bolts on the front and back. And then you want to make sure you use a torque wrench. To the All right, so that's pretty much it. And then if you want to move this around, just like you're editing your audio, you can do that. If there's any gaps where you want to cut that out, just go over here, select that down there, Command B, and then take out whatever you need to if you want. And so just edit it as you normally would your video. It's just another cool way to actually watch your footage as you're doing the voiceover and editing program. And then you can add any different effects or anything, change the volume levels and stuff like that down there. So really cool. So I'm gonna show you actually what the finished product looked like once I did the voiceover and added some music of the mufflers and the muffler clamps are tightened you're going to want to take a torque wrench and tighten the muffler bolts to 20 to 25 foot pounds and the muffler clamps to 40 to 60 foot pounds so pretty cool i was able to do that watching the footage and i knew where to kind of slow down or stop if i needed to pause and you can either hit stop in that box and it'll stop the recording or you can just pause 
and then start back up wherever you want to. So tons of different options for you to do that as well. So I'm gonna drop, drop in to another project here, and this is a podcast I did on this channel where I called the microphone the wrong one. So let's hear, and if you could see the microphone in the picture, you'll know. It is the Neat Worker B2. It is not the Neat Worker B2, that is actually the Neat King B2. So instead of having to record this whole scene or podcast over again, we can use that voiceover feature to change that. Now, it may, to like somebody that really is picky, you may see your mouth moving a little bit different than what it is, but if you can do it pretty close and most people won't even know. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find right where I start saying that product right here, and that's where I'm gonna start my voiceover. And then I know that I end right here, I say the two and that's it. So I want to make sure when I say the neat King B2 that I want it to stay within this length as close as I can. If it takes a couple different times, that's fine. If you mess up, just delete that audio file that it drops in and start over again until you get it as close as you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit, go back up to that window, go down to record voiceover, the box pops up and it'll give me a three second head start again. And it is the Neat King B2. So I'm gonna hit stop and see exactly how that lines up. I'm gonna drop the volume. It, it is, is a Neat, the neat Worker King B2. B2. That All right, so let's go ahead and take a break here just so we can drop that audio file. So the one I messed up, I'm going to delete, not delete, I'm going to kind of just mute that audio. And now we're going to see what it sounded like with the just it, but and it is the neat King B two that uh, so that's pretty good. Obviously, it doesn't line up perfectly with my mouth, but it got it pretty close. So this is a podcast. So most people are going to be listening to the audio only anyway, second, but and it is the neat King B two that I feel like I got the two part pretty good. So another cool option. And if you mess up and don't, you know, that doesn't line up, just select it, hit delete and start over again until you get it to where you want to. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Recording a voiceover in Final Cut Pro, super easy, makes it a lot easier than having to record in an external software program, do the editing, importing, all that stuff. You may or may not be able to watch your footage at the same time too. It just streamlines the process, makes it a lot easier, especially for somebody that doesn't do a lot of editing. It's kind of an easy way to get into doing voiceovers or correcting areas where you mess up a lot like me, calling things the wrong thing. So without having to record that whole long video, just put that little clip in there and hopefully nobody notices. But so if you guys found this video helpful, hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments as well. Or if there's anything else that you want some tips and tricks for Final Cut Pro or even iMovie, just let me know down there as well, and I'll try to make it happen. So thanks for watching.